Hiya everyone, my name is Mariam and welcome to my Inkscape tutorials. Last time we did a quick tour in Inkscape, we learned zooming and panic. Today we are going to start doing shapes and we are going to start with the rectangles and squares and how to do round corners and how to play with the skew of the shape. Now, as you know, in Cricut Design Space, we have a bit of limitation in some of the shapes if you don't have membership and also in when you click on shapes, You'll find on the top section there are some shapes, but at the very bottom, you may be um, interested to select this one, but you play a bit more with the skew. You want it in a bit more angle, so the corners are not 90 degrees. So today we are going to learn in Inkscape how we um, do those shapes and how we can design them, save them in a file with SVG format, Upload it together on Cricut Design Space so then we can use it in any project we need. So let's get started. Now, whenever we need to um, start the designing, we really recommend to um, do locking for the lock pad to be sure um, the proportion is kept the same. So I'm locking it here. So to start a drawing rectangle, simply what we need to do, we need to click on the rectangle shape the square shape on our editing and drawing tool on the left menu and what you simply need to do you need to come anywhere on your canvas you do left click and drag and you stop wherever you want it depends on how big you want your um, square or rectangle let's say I'm happy over here and I want to change the size to make it square so you come over on the top control menu, you have the width is a height, and I, for example, want to make it in centimeter or inches, and you want to make it um, 15 centimeters times 15 centimeters to make it accurate square. But there is another way from the beginning that we can simply um, drawing it in a square shape without playing with the width and height on the top. So what we need to do, we need to left click and drag, but holding the control key on the keyboard at the same time. Um, so let's do another one. So I'm going to hold the control key, left click and drag. And what it does, it sort of snap at one to one ratio. And if I go more to the right, it snaps at two to one ratio, three to one ratio, 4 to 1 ratio and so on. So when I do this one and just um, release the clicking, you will find the width and height exactly the same because it snaps at 1 to 1 ratio. So automatically it drew a square perfectly without I keep changing the width and height. Now, what do we have in our shape? We have three stages for each click. The first click, you click on the shape when you select the arrow shape on the left menu, the selector tool, the first click, it gives you eight arrows, four diagonal on the corners, one right, one left, one up and one down. And simply when you go to the diagonal one, click on it and move it, you simply are resizing or rescaling your square. But it's still a square. So if I go back here on the top, you will find the width and height are the same. Now, if you want to go back to the selector tool, you simply click on the space bar. So then you are toggling between the tool menu of the rectangle and the selection tool. Of course, you are more than welcome to come on the left menu and click on the arrow itself. Now, if I want to go back to the rectangle, tool, I click on the space bar again. So I simply, by clicking on the space bar, I'm toggling between the two options. If I select the top arrow and make it up, now when I go on the top, I will find the height has been changed. Now, what is the other stage of um, the shape? So the first click gives us the eight arrows. The second click changes the arrow. As you can see on the corners, it becomes rounded and that's how we can do the rotation. So if I click on that one, I rotate, it makes the shape rotated clockwise, or I can go the other direction anti-clockwise. And as you can see, it's actually rotating around the center, the middle cross. 
and try to notice um, the changes happen on the top control bar when I do the rotation. Even though the actual shape is still having the same width and height, but actually the width and height in this um, case, it makes the width between the arrows. You can see the four corners of the arrows. This is how the Inkscape calculates the size of your rectangle at this stage. So it's uh, this width and height is not the actual width and height of the actual rectangle. It's uh, the distance between the four corners at this stage. All right, now with the center of the shape, you can actually move it. If I click on the middle cross and move it, then in this case, when I rotate the shape, it will rotate around that cross. I actually can drag this cross even outside of the actual shape. And then now when I rotate, you will notice it's going totally out. And if you want to return back the cross to the middle of the shape, simply click on the cross while holding the shift key. Now it became back into the middle of my shape. Now, what else we can do with the um, rectangle or the square? So as we said, there are three stages. The first one with the diagonal um, arrows. The second one has the rounded arrows, but also there is a third stage. If I do from the beginning, double click quickly. As you can see on the shape, you will find there are three handles appear. Two squares, this one and that one and one round. The reality actually there are four handles, not only three. When I click on that round one and drag it, you will find another round one appears, which is hidden underneath it. Now, here we go. So we have four handles as a reality. And those handles is what's gonna control the corners of the shape. So there are different types of corners. When you do the corners, you can make the whole shape exactly the same with four straight sides and four rounded corners. And in this way, you make the shape symmetric. We call it more like a um, circular rounded. And if you only make the shape with two sides rounded and two sides straight, that's called elliptic rounded. So simply try it and play with it and see all the options you can get. So if I drag that little round handle, as you can see, I'm the shape almost starts to take the, the oval shape. If I go with that handle, move to the left side, you can see more that the top one here and the bottom is a bit straight, but the right one and the left one is more rounded. So this is how you can control your shape from the rounds, which corners. Um, and here with the square, I can make it smaller or bigger to make it a bit skinny, rectangle. Also this one I can control from that side. So you are controlling the side, the width, the height as you want, and the rounded handles is controlling the rounded corners and the rounded sides. Okay, wonderful. Now, what is the skew? So we have three stages with our rectangle or a square. When we click on the first one, we had um, the diagonal arrows. The second one is the rounded corners. But as you can see, um, the four other arrows are straight, top, bottom, right, and left. And this is what's gonna control my skew, make it in a different angle, and this one as well. So simply, we can do any um, shape we would like from the simple basic square or rectangle. Okay, so I drew some shapes and here we want to save our file into SVG format. So we click file from the top menu, save as, and let's say I'm gonna save it on my desktop and give it a name. I'll call it, let's say, shapes version six and save. And then I will go to Cricut and then upload. 
and then upload image browse I go to them um, location I saved my file shape 6 click open I love to give tags so I will call it shapes um, comma and I will put Inkscape and writing Inkscape in the tags helps me when I search and filter in the uploaded images and I write Inkscape, it will show me all the files I designed in Inkscape. Now has been uploaded, I selected, now it has green frame, I click add to canvas. And here we go, we have all our shapes. Now, as you can see on the top, the project has asterisks, that means it hasn't been saved. So let's save it, so click save, Call it anything you like, let's say shapes, or you can call it rounded rectangle. And then what you need to do, you click save. Now, let's say I want to make a new project now, and I want to select that exact object. They are grouped together, so I will do ungrouping, and then I separated them. I will take this one, and then after you select it, you click on the top menu, edit, and then copy. And then we open our new project. So you click File, New Window, and it opens another window in Cricut Design Space. You click on My Projects, click New, and then Edit, and then Paste. Here we go, and we have our shape. So as you can um, tell, we can open more than one window in Cricut Design Space and if you have more than one machine like let's say you have a Maker and Joy you can connect one window to the Maker and you can make the other window um, to a different machine so you actually can cut two projects at the same time or more than one project at the same time. Now if you are interested to learn more about the Cricut Design Space if you have a Cricut machine I am adding here the link on the top so I did about 10 tutorials for Cricut Design Space series um, you can learn more with me and I will add definitely more projects. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and see you in next tutorial.